excited to get the news and congratulations, by the way. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I was sitting at home with my mum this morning and um, got the call from Tomo and yeah, mate, I was uh, super excited, super pumped. Uh, my mum was jumping around at home, so uh, I had to tell her to come down a little bit while I was on the phone, but um, yeah, super exciting. Being a Sydney boy, um, what does it mean to potentially make your debut here at Allianz on, and I just hope to work time? Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. It'd be a dream come true, I think. Um, you know, if I got my chance to have my debut, it'd be an awesome thing, especially in Sydney, um, with all my family and friends here. So yeah, it'd be pretty cool. Going over to the West, I mean, now you're captaining the force, you know, what have you learned from that experience and how has that just made you a better player to sort of step up and take this opportunity? Yeah, it's been, uh, we had a good season. Um, probably didn't finish where we would have liked to, but, um, you know, leadership-wise, had an awesome group in the leadership with uh, Nick White, Michael Wells, and, um, you know, learning off them and um, leading the boys around the field. Uh, it was a really enjoyable experience. Great Kurt Deal for us and, and what sort of influence he's had on the group. Oh, he's been um, immense since he came into our group uh, midway through the year. Um, you know, he's got that X factor and um, a wealth of experience. And, um, you know, whenever he was training, he was always giving that experience to younger players and um, driving them and pushing them to be better. So, yeah, he was really, really good. And can you see him moving into a, a similar role for the Wallabies? Yeah, definitely. I think, um, you know, he's got such great experience at test level. And, um, you know, I definitely think he'll be doing that in camp. Have you spoken to no, I haven't. How do you think he'll react to the news? A lot of people are shocked by him. Oh, I think he'll be ecstatic. Um, you know, it's awesome to see him back in the squad, and yeah, I'm sure he'll thrive. Can you just bring us into like when he was like up in sports? Uh, you know, did you immediately see a bit of a buzz? Like, it's always been someone who's had a lot of confidence and lifts the morale. Do you see that being a really important thing over the next few weeks? Really? Yeah, definitely. When he first came in uh, to the squad, you know. He was driving our standards, um, and like I said, he's got that X factor about him um, and that wealth of experience. And um, you know, immediately as he came in, he was driving standards and um, pushing everyone to be better. Can you please your own journey? Like, I know you left a couple of years ago. You've spoken a bit about it, but it's been a pretty rapid ride since you moved to the West. Yeah, it's been pretty cool. I mean, uh, going over to the West, I've loved every minute of it. Um, you know, we've got a great coaching staff over there and a great uh, bunch of men. Um, and I've really enjoyed my time over there. Yeah. You see yourself more as, as from a test perspective. You've got an idea, six, lock? I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, either or, I guess. I'm just, I'll be stoked just to, you know, make my debut and get out there. Yeah. And what about the last like, week or two of training over here as well, going back and forth? What, what kind of, what have you seen from the coaching staff, like which coaches were here, running those drills as well? Yeah, most of the coaches um, were in during last week. Um, and, you know, it was awesome. Um, to be around them in a group and um, you know just to learn off them even though it was only for a week um, you know the intensity was really high and um, I think all the boys took a lot out of it. What was the experiences like with Joe before this was there sort of any any stage of the sort of year where you're thinking hang on a minute I might actually be on the road here for a call up? Um, I'm not too sure I guess personally I probably wasn't so focused on it um, during during the year I think um, you know most players would just be focused on performing for their club and um, you know, doing the best they can at super level and then, um, you know, if higher honours come from that, then awesome. Because you're now at a stage where I think it's five or six force players in this squad. What do you think that says about sort of the future of the club, the way it's heading? Yeah, it's awesome to see um, a number of force players in there. Um, you know, it probably just goes to show that, um, you know, the building that we've done in the last couple of years and, um, you know, I see that just growing ever more.